If you haven't yet explored the possibilities with premium templates, you are in for an amazing treat because we're gonna talk about using premium templates, specifically how you can start to incorporate Adobe fonts, which takes your designs to a whole different level. You're seeing the final design here and I will share with you what I did to just remix a template and incorporate some Adobe fonts. So let's get started. Under the templates tab, you will see a specific area that says premium templates. That's where you can go to see all these amazing templates that you can use and incorporate Adobe fonts. Now I'm going to tap on this one and I want to remix it. You will see at the very top that it says it's made with Adobe fonts. So that way you know that you're using a premium template. So now we can go in and modify this. So one of the things that I want to do first is add a nice texture background that I had just created and I want to incorporate that as a cutout for the word self. So I'm just going to tap on the actual background then I'm going to tap on replace and I'm going to search through my creative cloud because that's where I have my actual files. Okay, once I have my texture background, I'm just going to tap on open. It loads it in there and now it's just placing it as a background. But once we tap on done, we're going to select the type. Then we're going to go under the shape menu and we're going to go under this little dotted type that will create the cutout. Now you can see it's actually incorporated that into the background and it looks really nice. Now I just want to make one little tweak is that the color is kind of like a little soft, 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 soft transparent pink. I want it to be white. So I'm just changing the background color to be white. And now we're ready to add some more type. So one of the fantastic things that you get to do with premium templates is that you can start to add Adobe fonts. So I'm just going to add the word. Actually, I want to add the word care. Next, I'm going to actually change the color to black and I want that one to stand out against the pink. Now I'm going to go under the font tab area and you can see that it's listing Adobe fonts and I have all these other options. Now, if you want to add your own, you can tap on the plus sign and search through all these possibilities that you have available. And let's say you find one, let's say for instance, I like this Rosella one, I select it, then I can tap on the one that I want to download. I tap select, now it's added onto my little area for fonts and now you can see I'm able to incorporate that. So this is huge. If you guys don't have the premium templates, definitely, definitely consider this. You get it also as a part of the Creative Cloud membership. So super exciting. Now I wanna use a different font, which is Timberland, which is really nice. It's got this nice, beautiful handwritten feel to it. And I'm gonna go under now the adjust area, actually the alignment. I want it to be centered so that it doesn't have it all caps. And there you have your type. Now you can go in and get super creative. Just make sure that as a rule of thumb, try to have one or two fonts. Too many different fonts will start to create confusion. So have fun, but be intentional and can't wait to see what you guys start doing when you start experimenting with your Adobe fonts. Make sure you use hashtag Adobe Spark so we can see what you're creating. This is Nick Tay Cuevas of Nick Tay Creative Design.